Welcome back to the channel, Coach. Glad you're, you're able to continue watching our YouTube videos that we've been putting out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you are not subscribed to our channel yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get updated every time one of our videos comes out here. Now, the title of today's video right, is pretty self-explanatory. Right? The future of private training and what are we gonna do about it, right? What are we going to do? Here's the thing that I've seen, okay? And this is very, it's not only frustrating, but it's its concerning to, not, not to me, but to a lot of uh, business owners. Uh, but I've seen a lot of people, they have just packed it in. They said, you know what? Um, we're going to try to ride this thing out and then start uh, back with our clients again. And meanwhile, their clients were not being served. Their clients were waiting for a solution. And those clients probably went to go find an online solution so they could continue developing in whatever they need help with. Right? And I look back at a very pivotal time. Right? You can go back on YouTube, you can go see it. I had a video, I had these flow charts. It was like what coaches are going to do, or what most coaches do, and what like 1% of coaches are gonna do during the time of coronavirus. And I clearly laid out a plan of if you don't go online, you're going to probably get killed in business during this time. And a lot of people chose not to listen. And those are the same people right now that are trying to rely on the money from the government to save their business, right? Here's the deal, all right? This is very, very important. If you are, if you don't have money saved in your business, what are you doing, right? What are you doing? If you don't have like three, six, or 12 months of money stored for an emergency, that's on you, all right? That's number one. Number two, if you sat on your hands and did nothing during the time when the virus hit, that's disrespectful to your clients. That's telling them, don't really care about you during this time. I'm not going to find a solution during this time. We'll meet up. We'll link up when, when things go back to normal. Right? Now, the problem with that is when coaches took a break from their clients, those clients still need help. They're gonna go find someone that has something online so they can do that. And here's the other thing. This is what I've noticed, and this is like really exciting for me, is if coronavirus two comes back, <laughs> right? Let's say it comes back next year at the same exact time. My business will be so much more prepared than it was the first time it happened. And my business was very prepared because a lot of what I do is online. Right? But a lot of what I did with my clients was already online too. Right? See how that works. I was already moving them online before this stuff happened. And so them having online coaching felt normal. All right? No big deal. Just turn on the online, boom, right there. We're good to go. And if it happens again, which I believe, uh, I don't mean to sound negative, but I believe this could absolutely happen again. And if this doesn't happen again, something else will happen again in probably 10 to 15 years from now. That's to me inevitable. And if it does, are, is your business ready to battle through it? Like, are you going to have things in place to move online or are you gonna just try to write it out? And I've seen a lot of people who have packed it in, they've folded, they've quit, and they think that they're going to be able to come back from this. When I can promise you, you're going to lose a big percent of your customer base because your customers found someone else that can help them online. And typically, those who are doing it online, it's cheaper, so it's more affordable. It's easier because it's from home. They don't have to drive anywhere. And they, they got used to that person, so they know like and trust them now. So that person earned their business. All right? So how are you going to compete with that? Well, if you sat on your hands the last couple months, I don't know what to tell you other than 
you need to start thinking and you need to start solving problems for your clients rather than wait, right? And I'll tell you, the last couple of months was a very challenging time for a lot of people that I help. But those who took action, those who committed to go online, their business is so much stronger right now than it was back in January, right? So much stronger. It's like unbelievably stronger because now they have a way of reaching clients worldwide with what they're doing, which is not, that wasn't even an option for, for most of them uh, before this happened, okay? So what are you gonna do about the future? Are you going to just you know let something like this happen again and then hit the reset button again? Or are you gonna try to be a little bit smarter with your money? Are you going to be more prepared for something like this to happen again? Because I'm telling you, it will, right? It will. There's gonna be something else that happens, right? And if you are not online, you will not have a way of coaching clients. And there's a, several different ways to coach clients online. There's a couple coaches up and right now, they sell like $1,500 to $3,000 programs to parents online, right? That's something I do. I have that set up. That's something I can help you set up yourself, right? But that only works for those who made that pivot and they realize, all right, I'm not going to just sit around. I'm going to find something. I'm going to find the problem. I'm going to create the solution and I'm going to execute. I'm not going to dilly dally. I'm not going to think about this for, for 20 months. I'm going to execute on this. And I promise you, those who executed early on, their business is going to be so much more superior than anyone else in their town. And they're going to be able to get a lot more clients because when things go back to normal, there's only going to be one or two people in every city that had continued in their business. So they are gaining more traction. So hopefully that's you. Hopefully you are one of those people who buckled down, worked harder, started creating solutions the way I did. All right. And you weren't just sitting around. If you were sitting around, I hate to break it to you, but like it's, probably a very short amount of time until you are out of business, right? Even though, even though things are looking like at this point, they're slowly going back to normal, right? How long is that going to take? I know a lot of people, and this is very unfortunate. I know a lot of people who only had camp businesses and in the summer, that's all they do. Like, I know there's four or five people that I've, that I've worked with in the past. That's all they did. May, sorry, June, July, August, only camps take the rest of the year off to market for the next summer's camp, right? If you can't have that, that camp, if you can't be running camps this summer, what are you going to do? Are we just going to pack it in? Or are we going to find another way to, to generate revenue? Are we going to find an alternative way to help clients? That is, that is the, going to be the difference between those who get out of this time on top and those who get out of this time bruised, battered, bloody, like breathing hard, wanting to quit. The, there's the, a high majority of coaches and personal trainers haven't done anything. They have not done anything. All right? And I believe it's a disservice to your clients. I believe that if you did nothing, it's disrespecting your clients because you're afraid to get on video or you're afraid to try something that you have not done before. You're afraid to get on Zoom and, and have some training sessions. You're afraid to be resourceful because you were so used to the, to the good old days, right? That's your fault, dude. Not my fault. I, I'll tell you what, I did my part. I did my part and still helping a lot of kids, helping a lot of coaches help thousands of kids right now because they went online, right? And you can timestamp it, go back to, to March. You can watch that video I posted, right? Doesn't have a lot of views. Wonder why? Because a lot of people were tuned out during that time. They were, they were freaking out about what was gonna happen. And they were, they were like, oh, well, I need to go get a different job or, or I need to pack it in or I'm gonna wait this one out, right? This should have taught you, right? You need to have a high sense of urgency 
no matter what's going on. And when you have a high sense of, sense of urgency, you'll always find a way to be resourceful. You'll always find a way to solve problems. And your clients will not leave your program when you are resourceful, right? No matter what. That's it, guys. Hopefully this helps out. If you need my personal one-on-one -on -one help, send me a text to 210-960-5771. It's the fastest way to reach me. If you don't live in the U.S., send me an email to buildmysportsbiz at gmail.com or you can go to our website at buildmysportsbiz.com. Join our free newsletter. Um, that's something I send out two, three times a week. Uh, I send out additional tips, tactics to grow your business. I would highly suggest if you are not on that list, go get on that list. I give away thousands of dollars of, of advice for free on that, on that email throughout the month. So go check it out. I'll see you guys soon. And uh, let's keep moving forward.